Well, hello, welcome back to the channel with your host and driver, DDD Jaden. Here we are again, yet again, with a recap of our last two, what well, not our last two races, the penultimate two races of this season. Race number nine and race number ten of the cup races. And this time the Wheel of Fortune put it on Watkins Glen. Yes, Watkins Glen. A well-known circuit for a lot of us. For me as well, but two absolute shitty races to tell you up front already. But, first of all, small introduce, uh, a small introduction to the format. It's simple what we do on a Wednesday. It's two cup races of 20 minutes. And it's going to be an upfront qualifying of 10 minutes that determines the starting order for race number one. Results of race number two is going to be the uh, results of race number one is going to be the starting order for race number two. First race we race on racing mediums. Second race we race on racing softs. And we're going to drive yet again. Um, upcoming Wednesday as well with the Ferrari 458 Italia Group 3 car from 2013. Good. We've done it all. Yes, we've done it all. We're going to run you through the championship order because it's going to be important. And if I'm correct, you can see it right now on screen. <laughs> Let me get rid of myself. Yes, quickly. And we're going to show you over here. It is the second one. Is this the correct one already? Yeah, this is the correct one. You can see uh, right now we have Monik as our championship leader with 98 points. And then we have Otto, who will not compete this, this two races. He couldn't make it, unfortunately. But he's the second one in the championship. Then in third, we have Hugo with 95 points. Absolutely ridiculously close. 98, 97, 95. Between the top three, it's only three points. Then we have Walters, the founder of Race Team Walters, where we race with and for. is in fourth with 91 points. Then we have me, myself, and I in... Uh, fifth place with 84 points. And then we have Rick147, who does race this time and didn't lace, race last time, but 70 half and an eight po 70, uh, 78 and a half points in sixth. Then we have Reint in sixth with 62 points. And then we have uh, Chris Fierce. Well, we could say bonus. Bonus is better to say because bonus is his nickname in the game. Then we have 16 and a half points for uh, Chris Fierce, 28 who doesn't going to compete as well this time in 8th. Then we have uh, Zontjes in uh, 9th with 52 points. We have to mark it, yes. And then we have Jopadex in 10th with 52 points as well. Exciting stuff. But as we can tell, uh, we can tell up front, Zontjes will not compete. Uh, Chris Fierce 28 will not compete. And uh, who else did I say didn't compete this time? Oh yeah, of course, Arno. So we have the second one, the eighth and ninth, not competing for the championship. So this is going to be exciting for the championship standings. Um, do remember this uh, upper right corner says top four of, of minus top four scrape results. So your four worst results you can scrape. And right now we see already with our number Rick 147 that he only competed three times so far. So that means he still has one full opportunity to score points. And everybody else above him and below him, well not everybody but nearly everybody, already did at least four. I've competed four times out of the six times and you can scrape two out of the four in total that's going to be four because because it's two races in a row so out of 12 total races you can scrape four and that means you can miss two events that has two races so for him there is still uh, two places open to fill up as much as possible but it's going to be these four of course and the same for Zontjes, who only competed four times yet and still hasn't competed after since. 
and Reint still has one extra open, so it's going to be exciting for, them, for him as well. They both can easily overtake me if they do well, and I know Bonus and Rick147, especially Rick147, is quicker than me. So it could be really possible that I'm going to end up in 7th. Unless I do good. But as I told you up front, it's going to be shitty. <laughs> oh, goddamn right. But now you know what championship standings up front. Uh huh. I'm going to put myself into the screen yet again. And we're going to go to the live images and we're going to run you through the starting order. Yes. We're going to do that. There we are. Here we go. And now we're going to put the game volume up. So you can at least hear what I can hear. We don't need the headset yet. But we're going to run you through the starting order. And this is going to be the result of the qualifying we did up front. Of course. Then we have Marnik, who put it on pole with an amazing lap yet again. This is our championship leader, so this is the best possible position, of course. A duh for him to start the race. Then we have Rickman47 in second place. That's going to be good for his championship if he can finish over there or even one place higher up. Then we have Walters. This is going to be good for his championship as well. He starts in third. Then we have Tamil. Uh, still has to catch up a lot of points because he missed one of the events as well. And I believe he has already eight results so far, but still can make up points because, yeah, zero is zero and you can go higher than zero if you continuously after that score. Then you have Hugo. I believe it's the third in the championship right now. He starts in fifth. Then we have Bonus. Still has to catch up a little bit. Same as Tamil. And same as Rick147. He starts in 6th. Then we have Karistus starting in 7th. He likes this track. He really does. You'll see later. <laughs> oh, don't say too much. No. Okay, I won't. Then we have Jopadek starting in 8th. Nice job as well. Then we have Konis. Finally joined in. F yeah. I must say finally joined in. Because he... Um, checked the, the, the checklist... That he wanted to compete in every single event. But this is the first one. He finally joins. Then we have me, myself and I. DDD Jaden. In 10th. In fucking 10th. Absolutely horrific qualifying. Suddenly didn't know how to race anymore. But uh, one, of our, one of our new members. He does compete in this race. But is not going to get points for the championship. It's only left racing, and this is really a special one. You'll have to remember this one. Why? He only has one left hand to race. What is it only? His left foot. Can't really remember. You have to correct me of that. One left racing. <coughs> but, um, yeah, this is one of our special guests, <laughs> as I could say, who's going to compete with us. And of course, everybody's welcoming race team Walters as long as you can speak Dutch so far. But soon we're going to go international. And then we have Pierre in 12th. And at the rear, we have Troy 070. Oh, oh nice. God verdomme, yo. Kruid de viole. All the way back in 13. Now, let's get a ball over here. Let's get the TV cam. Let's get ourselves ready. Let's put the headset on. Yes. Here we're going to go. Make sure we get everything ready. Mm -hmm. Everything is on. Everything is up and running. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Not nearly. Mm -hmm. You know this drill. So yeah, we're going to chill out. <coughs> if you're ready, I'm ready. And we're going to run this shit, shit show. And we're going to... Okay, here we're going to go. And we're going to give it, uh, give it a countdown yet again. In! Wah! Can't hear myself. Forgot something. Sorry. 
Oh, I can hear myself, but can't hear the game volume. A little bit back. Here we're going to go in. Three, two, one, go. And let's see who gets the best of the line. It is going to be Rickman 47 compared to Monik. It's going to be a better start from Rickman 47 into the first corner. Here he comes on the inside already. Who's going to jump who? Oh, and there's Walters really close by as well. And who's else on the inside? It's going to be... Bonus, bonus pass to Mill, as far as I believe, because he started fifth and in. To is in fifth right now. And else, who else back behind? Oh, Walters passed. <clears throat> Rickman 47 on the straight over there. Somebody touching already over there in the background. Joe Benex into the ball. And Jada really close behind as well. Here to Mill fighting Caristas. Here they're going to come to the really fast chicane and the tricky chicane. And bonus still in front of Tamil. Caristas on the outside over there. Is that possible to overtake? No, it's not. Holy shit, balls of fire. Oh, somebody went wide. And Jaden passed. Yobadex and Yobadex is falling back. Falling back into the back. Here they're going to come. Goodness, tries to run the inside of Jaden over there. Oh, is that possible? A little bit of a push and a little bit on the grass. Oh, a bit slippery and sliding. And we can, we can wobble over there. Let's go a little bit further in front. There we have Caristas versus Hugo. And Caristas on the inside of Hugo. Hugo on the outside of Caristas. However you want to see it. Name it! <laughs> The open X goes a little bit wide over there. We still have Marnik in the lead. Walters in second. Then we have Rickman 47 in third. Here comes Hugo yet again on Caristas. He's going to try it. On the outside over here, is that possible? Oh, that's going to be tight. And Caristas lets us run wide. Yes, definitely. Nicely done. But, oh, the open X and Pierre fighting in the background. Let's see it over here. There's going to be a nice overview. And let's go all the way up front. And let's run you through the order. Oh, Mana goes a little bit wide over there. That's going to be a penalty, definitely, for sure. Let's see it in three, two, one. There it is. Then we have Walters in second. Then we have Rickman 47 in third. Then we have Bonus in fourth. Then we have Tamil in fifth. Then we have Christus in sixth. Hugo in seventh. Jaden in eighth. Nice recovery from tenth. Then we have Curtis in ninth. Then we have Jobanex in tenth. Then we have Pierre in eleventh. And Troy behind in twelfth. And all the way at the back at one left racing. But first, you know what we're going to do? It's the replay! Let's go back, 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 Eddie, back, go back, go back, 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 Eddie, back. All the way to the beginning. Let's see that start yet again from Rick 147 compared to Marnik. Here we're going to go. In three, two, one, poof. Just a tiny bit better off the line. That's a little bit more grip. Marnik closes him up to the wall, tries to tighten him out. Goes back to the racing line, holds the outside, and Walters is on the outside of Rickman 47. Rickman 47 leaves the space just enough for Walters to not get a penalty. And because of the slipstream, Walters gets that second place. Right now on the inside, well, let's look a little bit further back. Here we're going to go. Is there a replay? Is there a replay? Let's see who else had a really good start. Because we had Tamil, of course, in fourth, and you go past him. And who else? Bonus started from sixth and ended up in fourth. Wow. Let's see that again from his perspective. Here we go. One, go. Yes, he has the better start compared to everybody in front of him. Immediately on the inside of Hugo. Into the first quarter and breaks way later than Tamil does on the inside. And Tamil lets go of his breaks but cannot hold it. And that's how he ended up in fourth. Tamil in fifth and Hugo... Oh, Carissus in sixth even. Let's go a little bit further back. Then we have Hugo. Then we have Jobadex. And what happened to Jobadex? Let's keep on board. Oh, he gets a little push from Kunis. Oh, into the ball. Didn't slow him down that much. He's still on the slipstream of the guys in front of him. And Jaden is going to give him a little bit of a, a little bit of a bump draft. Well, maybe not really. And, whoa, well, Jaden on the outside. And now the inside. Nice move. And that's going to give Kunis the opportunity to pass him as well. A little bit of a wiggle, 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 wobble over there. And that puts him down all the way in 10th. And Pierre is going to give him a bump draft. And is that going to lose out? And is that how Pierre loses out to him? Or oh, to one left racing? No, he does not. Goes a little bit deep over there. And that is the fight, of course, between Jaden and Kodis. We already saw. But let's keep an eye on this battle. No, let's go a little bit further up front yet again to Caristas and Hugo. And Caristas doing a nice job to overtake Hugo for sixth place. Let's go all the way up front. Let's continue this way. Here we're going to go. And we have Walters in second and Rickman 47 in third. And we know Rickman 47 is one of the really fast guys in race team Walters. Is there going to be any shenanigans into this corner? No, it's not. 
This is too tight over here to overtake unless somebody made a mistake already. You're already side by side. Here we are into the penultimate corner. And there we saw Marnie go a little bit wide. That's why he got that penalty. And there's the, is there going to be a big battle between Jade and the Coney's? I saw it in the background. Yes, there is. But they're quite close to Hugo as well. Still on the slipstream. Rickboard 47 absolutely in the slipstream of Walters. Let's see this battle up front, but let's keep an eye on the minimap as well. And let's see if somebody would change for the lead. Oh, there is a one second penalty for Walters. Did he went too wide? What happened? Winston replay! How did he get that one second penalty? Let's go back. Did he get that? He didn't have that one second penalty over here. We saw that half second penalty of Marnik, of course, because he went wide into the penultimate corner. But Rick 147, right on his tail. Did he went too wide into the first corner? Oh, yeah, that's too wide. That's four wheels off the track. And there you go, a full second penalty. That's a bit harsh. That could have been a half second penalty, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. But Walters let him go. I remember that from the voice chat. He said, yes, I got a full second penalty. Just go, 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 go. It would have been nice to help hold you up. But he's going to hold up ranked. Or oh, bonus, we must see. And then we have Tamil just behind it. And Goris is just absolutely on his tail. But first, is there going to be an overtake over here? No, there's not going to be an overtake over here. Anybody else doing anybody think anything crazy? No, it's not. Let's go all the way up front. Because we're going to see that penalty, of course, of Marnik. Oh, it's a full second penalty right now. No! Why not? Hmm? So a full second penalty for uh, Marnik and a full second penalty for Walters. Here they're going to come. A full second penalty. Here's going to go Rickmond 47. And uh, Reint is going to profit over that as well. Or bonus, I must say. Here we have Rickman 47 in the lead right now. Marnik still in second. Then we have Reint. Uh, bonus in third. Then we have Tamil in fourth. Then we have Chris in fifth. Walters in sixth. Hugo in seventh. Jaden still in eighth. Fighting with Kunis all over the place. That's a tight battle. Maybe we're going to watch that. But let's go all the way up front because... Let's see if Rickman 47 can pull out a gap over Marnik. Marnik is second. This time doesn't run wide. This is the second lap. And we have Reint in third. Oh, there is a huge line over there from Tamil. Oh, ay, 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 he got passed by Kurisis because of that. What the hell did you do? It's the replay! Let's get a bot with him. Back, 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 any back, 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 any back. Chris is right on a steal. Walters dropped all, all the way back to sixth. Here we have Tamil still in fourth. Did he went a little bit too tight, a little bit too wide? No, everything is okay over here. Did he touch the grass on the outside? Yes, he did. And he pulls a huge Tokyo drift into the last corner. But that's going to give Chris the opportunity to get fourth place. And he does so. Amazing stuff. And we have that fight in the background, as we can see, between Cody's and Jaden into the first corner. Is Cody's going to make that move? Is he going to make it stick? He tries it on the inside of Jaden. Oh, Jaden squeezes him gets the outside line does have a better exit and Kunis is still in mind they lost a little bit of ground over there but let's go all the way up front again here is the fight between Tamil and Walters because Tamil had that mistake of course Walters right on his tail let's go a little bit further in front because I can see a battle forming up over there between Marnik and Bonus but it's not close enough so keep an eye on this battle and here he is Walters on the outside of Tamil what a move into that she came that's daddy whoa ho 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 it's the replay! <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Out of the first corner, of course, he has the slipstream over here. And Tamil takes a defensive line because the first part of the chicane is going to be a right hander. But because Walter has the slipstream of Caristas, he can pass him easily before the chicane already. Nicely done! Derry move! Amazing stuff! Nicely fought, and is Tamil going to fight back? No, Walters blocks him over there. Perfectly blocked. Then we have Jaden, Kunis, Pierre, Troy, and only left racing, and Jobelex all the way at the back. How did he end up in the back? At the back. Okay. Let's get a boat with Jobelex. What did you do to end up 13th? Well, that was quite a while ago. Here in Oh, <laughs> I can see tired smoke. This was in the second lap. Pierre and Troy behind. A full second penalty. Meine Gute. What did you do? 
Whoa, took a huge drift into this corner. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Onto the grass. Here they're going to come, Pierre. Oh, and he's going to block Pierre. That is a block. A block pass. No, it's not a block pass. It's just a simple block. But yet again, Pierre and Troy. Pass them already for 12th place. Now runs to White. Oh, yo, yo. He has to serve that full second penalty. And only left raising is going to pass him as well. Let's go a little bit further up front again. Where were, you, where were we? Sorry about that. Yeah, we've seen this already. And let's skip a little bit further back. Further up front, further up front. A little bit further up front. Because now we're going to see that pass, of course. Uh, from Tamil, from Walters on Tamil. And here we were. Let's continue this battle. Whoa, and they're all wiggy 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 wobbling into the chicane. Because that's a tricky one to get that right and to be absolutely committed. You have to be absolutely committed. Oh, Hugo runs a little bit wide over there. Hopefully for him, not a penalty. Can't see it popping up yet. And normally it would already, so no penalty for him. And we can see right right on the tail of Monik. Then we have Jaden here in 8th. The Coon is in ninth. Then we have Pierre in 10th. Throw in 11th. Only love raising in 12th. And as we saw, Jopelex all the way at the back in 13th. Let's get all the way up front. Let's see. We have a top 3. And then we have four cars behind it, fighting for fourth place. That's Christos, Walter, Stamil, and Hugo. And the top three is Rickman 47, Marnik, MVE 99, and Bonus 69. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> you dirty little. I won't end that sentence. <laughs> Let's go a little bit further back because it's a tight battle in between those guys. And let's see further back. Jaden tries to get on the tail of um, Hugo again, but it's not close enough for the slipstream corners. And then we have Pierre with a half second battle. The intent throw and the only love raising. And we already saw all of, all of that. And here comes the battle for second place between Marnik and Bonus. This is the closest we have so far. Here he comes. Right on a tail. Can he choose the inside? No, he cannot. Marnik closes the inside. Here it comes into the chicane. Is this going to be a passing opportunity? No. They're going to bump draft each other to close up to Rick 147. Sorry about that. Oh, there is a huge spin for a championship leader. He's in the wall. He's out. No. It's that replay. What are you doing, Monik? No. He's in the wall. Oh, yo, yo. Well, he didn't touch the wall, I believe. Let's get a bot with him. Does he have any damage? No damage, but cooking tires for sure. Oh, yo, yo, what did you do? Did you hit the curb too hard? Did you went in a little bit too high? Too hard. He got that bump draft. Yes, he went a little bit in, a little bit too hot into the chicane. As you can see, after that bump drop, bump draft, expected that, but went in a little bit too hot and too, yeah, braked a little bit too late. Catches the drift, touches the curb over here, is already in a spin, touches the grass a little bit, tries to overcorrect it, or tries to correct it, then overcorrects, and has a huge spin, and a 360, that's a nice one. Not touching the wall, I'm going to give you an 8, no, this is going to be a 9, this is a 9, this is a 9 in a spin, take a look at this, this is a 9 in a spin, a little bit of a bump draft, breaks a little bit, a tiny tad too late, goes a little bit too hot into it, catches it, but... Things better with it. Whoop! Here it comes. Yeah, that's a nine of a spin. Perfectly done. But it's going to lose him a lot of places. He's in seventh right now. Even in eighth. Even in uh, ninth. Oh, yo, yo. He drops him all the way back to Konus. Behind Konus. And Pierre is going to try to benefit of that as well. But a championship leader. All the way back in tenth. No, still in ninth. Can he hold mine? Yes, he can. And Pierre is the half second penalty. So it's not possible for Pierre to overtake him. Well, he could have overtook, overtaken him. But... Would have given the place back. Let's go a little bit further up front. And we can see Konis and Jaden still fighting over 7th place right now. And let's go all the way up front. Here we have it. Rickman 47 now in the lead. And bonus. This is going to be good for his championship, of course. Rickman 47 and bonus still have to complete the 8 races of points. So this is amazing for those two guys. First and second right now. Uh, those two guys are going to climb the ladder. Then we have Caristus in third still. Walter still following him behind in fourth. They all gained the position because Monik lost it. And then we have Tamil gained the place as well. Hugo gained the place as well. Now in sixth. Then we have Jade at the seventh and Kona's in eighth. And then we have Monik, our championship leader. Oh my god. 
Dude, this is gonna be costly for you. Ridiculous! <laughs> Let's go a little bit further up front. Let's see if there's gonna be any big battles over there. The tightest battle we have is between maybe Wolfus and Tamil. And a little bit further back there we have. Yes, this is gonna be the tightest battle. Monik and Kunis for ninth place. Monik has to recover. Any other shenanigans going on behind? Let's keep a close eye on that medium up. And Monik is gonna bump draft Kunis to get closer to Jaden. To make sure he can overtake him. I hear tire squeals left, right, and center. But nothing going on, no changes. And Monik is smart enough to not make a pass into the bust up chicane. Oh, and Rick 47 and Bonus are really close together as well. Are there any changes a little bit further up front? Let's see it over here. Now I can see every position a little bit further up front. No, Caristus is still in third. Walters in fourth. Tamil in fifth. Hugo in sixth. And here we have that tight battle for seventh place between Kunis of Jaden Kunis and Monik. And there he comes. Monik breaks later than Kunis does. <clears throat> but that's not really a passing opportunity. Except if you're already alongside the same same story over here is this the tightest battle we have is it going to be more exciting up front oh we can see Kunis is faster than Jaden and Monik is faster than Kunis this is going to be tight for those guys but let's see a little bit further up front into the first corner bonus still behind then we have Kuristus then we have Walters Tamil Tamil right on the tail of Walters Hugo closing up as well and here we have Kunis Monik and Jaden a little bit further in front. Oh, that's going to be a half second penalty, I believe, for Monik. He went a little bit wide over there and didn't throttle out. Is that a penalty or just on the edge? That was absolutely on the edge. He didn't get that penalty. Nicely done. Oh, let's go a little bit further in front. I can see battle into that chicane. Oh, and Wright made a mistake. Wright is all the way back in fifth. He was second. No! What have you done? It's the dream play! No! Right! You were in second! Oh, bonus, I must say, yet again. Adol. Did he make a mistake into the first quarter? I think he did. Because he's. He has a huge gap over Caristas in third over here, and is quite close to the slipstream of Rick 147. Or is even in the slipstream. Let's see if he makes a mistake into the first corner. And we're going to see that battle a little bit later on. between all the other guys yes he gets himself into a huge drift oh and he nearly goes into the wall but holds it together nice drift nice Tokyo drift but that doesn't make you faster and he doesn't have the exit speed so we lost already a price to Caristas and here they're gonna come here comes Walters here comes Tamil and that's why they were side by side and let's see it from the TV camp perspective <clears throat> and Tamil on the inside but bonus is in the slipstream who can who's the bravest into the bus stop it is Tamil. He didn't want to break too late. And bonus thought wisely over there. In fifth right now. <clears throat> now let's see that battle behind. Here we have it. Oh, and that is going to be a nice move from Monik after the, the bust up chicane. Oh, in, of the inside of Kunis, but it's going to be the outside for the next hairpin. <clears throat> Here it comes on the outside. Can he hold it together? Does he have to slot him? No, he does not. Yes, he does. Kunis defends well, but can he defend into the next corner? That's going to be a right-hander again. And that is the opportunity for Monik to snitch each place of him. But we'll have to see that again. You know what we're going to do. Let's the replay! <laughs> what a moves. <clears throat> and that only in the sixth lap. But only ten minutes in, halfway through. Here we have that battle. Let's start it all the way from the first corner. Then we have Jaden breaking the slipstream of Konus. Monik is right in the slipstream of Konus. Here they're going to come into the first corner. Who's going to have the best exit? Uh, the best entry speed was Konus definitely, and has the best entry of uh, exit speed as well. He's right on the tail of Jaden, but Monik's going to get a double slipstream of the two guys in front. And a little bit further in front, if you look a little bit further in front, you can see that fight between Tamila and uh, Bonus forming up. But Gonus on the outside over here, Jaden defends the inside. And who's going to break the latest? And Gonus cannot make that move into the buff stop sheet game, but it's going to give Monik the opportunity, especially over here because they're still side by side. 
to get up the inside of Koenis over there. There's a little bit of a push, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's just fair enough. And Monica's right on the outside for the next corner. Here we go. Keeps it on the outside, and Koenis keeps it on the inside. Trottles out a little bit earlier than Monica can do. Although he's on the uh, outside, but it's going to be the inside for this corner. And Monix breaks way later, and there is a place for Monix. Nicely done. Nicely fought. Beautiful stuff. And here comes Konis again, but Monix is in the slipstream of Jaden. And he's probably not going to make it, but they're alongside. Is he going to make it into this corner? No, he does not. Woo! Nicely done, Monix. Oh, and Jaden runs a little bit wide over there, possibly a penalty. And they're still fighting over eight plays, Konis and Monix. But Monik has... The, the job is done. Eighth place for Monik right now. Let's go a little bit further in front. Let's see if there are any changes over there. Yes! Bonus is back in fourth place. We'll have to see how that happened. Another is the way <laughs> Let's get a book with bonus. How did he get back in fourth place? Here he is in fourth place already. And here it is. Oh, the Tamil went a little bit wide over there. Because he's in fourth place over here. Then we have, whoa, a huge slide of Hugo. Let's see that first. <clears throat> Into this happen. It's a bit tricky because it's downhill and this car likes to oversteer. Did he went a little bit right? No, oh, yeah, he trill braked in and what a huge slide over there. Nicely caught, a corner. Nicely caught. Perfectly done. But let's get it from the perspective of bonus. And Tamil goes a little bit deep over there, runs a little bit wide. Bonus gets the better exit, or has the better exit out of this corner and the better speed. Into the slipstream, into this tight right hander. And who breaks the latest? And bonus is on the inside of Tamil and claims the corner. Gets the job done. Nicely done, bonus. Recovers all the way to fourth. Oh, and Tamil is on the inside over there. There's a bit of a push. Whoa, that was a bit of naughty, but opportunistic. They lost a little bit of time over there. Oh, and Tamil is still right on the ass of bonus. Right in his gear bus box, sniffing the oil. What a tight battles, guys. Not even 11 minutes in. And this is only race number one. <laughs> Here he comes again. Tamil's going to be in the slipstream. Oh, and there's a huge slide over there from Bonus out of the first corner. And there's a huge slide in the background from Jada as well out of the first corner. <clears throat> and we can see Rick 47, Caristas and Walters are gone. How did uh, we know how Caristas ended up, of course, in second because of the mistake of Wright and the mistake of Marnik? And there is a huge battle behind it as well. Let's catch up with that fight. It's between Marnik and Jaden, and this is not a passing opportunity, so let's go a little bit further in front. No mistakes over here. Whoa, there is a huge drift from Jaden over there. Holy shit, balls of fire. How did he hold it up together? Oh, and Gunas on the inside of Marnik. Jesus, Jesus, bloody Christ, you guys. Whoa, take a look at how much of the track they use over there. Oh, yo, 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 you guys. Holy shit, balls of fucking fire. There's a replay. I want to see that slide again from myself. That was ridiculous. Let's get a boat with Didi Jaden. It was into the chicane. We saw that fight a little bit further up front. Nothing happened. They kept close. We're going to see that as soon as we get seen, seen this drift. Yeah, a little bit too tight in here, nearly making the same mistake as. Monik did, but what a huge slide. Nicely held together. And we're going to see it from the perspective of... Let's go a little bit further back, a little bit further up front. Here we see that from Curtis's perspective. And Monik tries it on the outside of that uh, because of that. And that gave up, uh, the opportunity to go, uh, the opportunity to Curtis to sniff on the inside. And take a look how far they search for the track limits over there. Out of that hairpin. The right-hander. Oh, yeah, 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 you guys. And they're still fighting over. Fourth place. Let's go a little bit further back. A little bit further back. Here we're going to go. And we're going to see that slide from Jaden. Yeah, we've seen that already. <clears throat> Let's keep an eye on this battle. Guys, a little bit further up front. There we have Rick 147 all on his own in the lead. Then we have Walters in third. Then we have Bonus in fourth. And that tight battle for fourth between Bonus, Tamil, and Hugo. Then we have Jaden. Marnik and Koenis fighting over 7th place. Let's go to the battle for 4th place. This is the most exciting one we have so far, but we have the fight between Walters and Koenis as well. So let's see if that changes. Let's keep a close eye on that. 
Okay, I will. Yes, mister, yes. Oh, Tamil goes a little bit wide over there. Gets a little... Uh, a bit of a bump draft. Any other changes behind? No. So far, I know. And not up front as well. These are the tightest battle we have. And there is a tight battle over here. Monik tries it left, right and center. Because Jaden isn't fast enough compared to Monik. Let's go a little bit further up front. Let's go all the way up front. And then we have Rickman 47. Here comes Coristas. Into the first corner. Then we have Voltus in third. Then we have Bonus in fourth. Tamil in fifth. Hugo in sixth. Jaden, Monik and Hugo fighting over seventh place. Then we have Pierre in tenth. Troy in eleventh. Jopodex in twelfth. And only left racing all the way at the back in 13th. <clears throat> Let's keep an eye on this battle. Yeah, this is the closest we have. Here we comes. Marek right in the slips room of Jadent. Is he going to bump draft or is he going to pass him? Oh, there was a bump draft of Marek and he loses out way too much speed over there. And that's going to give Curtis the opportunity to go in the, to the inside of the bus stop. But Marek holds his ground. And what a repass again. Holy shit, balls of fire again. <laughs> I want to see that again. I want to see that again. Yes, we want to see that again. It's a replay. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Coming out of the f the. What is that? Second, third, and fourth corner. That was that bump draft that slowed Monik hugely down. <clears throat> Going is on the inside, but Monik breaks later, keeps the inside. Kunis cannot do anything about it. And that's how Marnik kept his 8th place. He slowed down a lot by bump drafting. That was ridiculous, man. Let's go a little bit further up front. Let's see the battle for 2nd place between Coristus and Walters. It's not close enough for now. Bonus to Mil and Hugo spreading out a little bit. And this battle is the tightest we have. Jaden Marnik for... Jaden versus Marnik versus Coristus. Here we have it. <clears throat> 13 and a half minutes in six and a half to go or six minutes and 20 seconds right now because races last only 20 minutes 20 minutes yes yes wow 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 this is the tightest we have right now Here he comes again, Marnik on Jaden, closing up out of the last corner. How are they doing further up front? We're going to keep a, keep an eye on that as well. We have spider eyes, eight of them. <laughs> you say so, if you say so, I believe you. Okay, man, let's go a little bit further up front. Let's see if there are any slipstream battles. Curtis is, is pulling out a gap over Walters. Then we have Bonus. Tamil, Tamil right in the slipstream of Bonus. He cannot make that into the hairpin. Can he or can he not? No, he cannot. Okay. Here we have that battle between Marnik and Jadant. <clears throat> into the bust of Chicane. Here they're going to come. Is Marnik going to try it into this hairpin? Is he going to try a tighter line? He does. Can he, Jadant, keep that seventh place? So far he can. They run extremely wide over there close to a penalty because this track is really penalty sensitive as well oh Jaden has to put up a defensive line over here Monik is faster tries it on the outside over there oh can he do that that would be audacious no he cannot that would be crazy if you could do that oh can he try it on into this corner no he cannot any changes further up front no they're still really close together, fighting over fourth place, or fifth place, I must say, between Hugo, Tamil, and Walters. And Marnik lost out a little bit. Oh, and Koenis goes a little bit wide over there. That's going to lose him out to Marnik. But Marnik immediately back in the slipstream, was still in the slipstream of Jaden. Luckily, with his group three cars, the dirty air is not that bad. And let's go a little bit further up front again, because I can see that battle forming up. No. Is Walters faster than uh, Coristus? No, he's not. Bonus pulls out the gap over Tamil. This is not going to be any fight. And is it going to be a fight for seventh place? <clears throat> four minutes to go. Less than four minutes to go. I must see. 
Here we have it. Marnik absolutely in the slipstream yet again of Jaden. Then Jaden puts up a defensive line and Marnik is going to bump draft him. I know from the voice chat he told him this is not the place to pass so I will not pass you over here. No other mistakes, no other crazy things going on, no. This is the tightest battle we have. So we'll have to deal with this for so far. Is it right now? Here we see Gunas closing up to Monik. But we know Monik is fast. He's the championship leader. And that must say enough. But he's still not capable of passing Jaden. Will he force Jaden into a mistake? That is possible. Huh? <laughs> and is Jaden closing up to the guys up front? Did they make a little bit of a mistake or did they fight? Because Tamil lost ground to bonus. And Hugo lost ground. Oh, Jaden touching the wall over there. Is that going to give Marnik the opportunity to pass him into the first corner? Jaden puts up a defensive line. Into the first corner. Here it comes. And let's see. Oh, that's a little bit wide over there. Is that going to be a penalty? Yes or no? I don't know. Let's see. Let's wait. Oh, half a second penalty for Jaden. You dumb wit. You fucked us. <laughs> let's go a little bit further in front because I can see that battle between Hugo and Tamil. <clears throat> it's not possible to pass him. But it's going to be possible for Marnik to pass Jaden if Jaden cannot pull out a gap over Marnik because of that half second penalty. No good, no good, no good, senor. Not good at all. Oh, and I can see who is that? Walters and Caristas closing up as well on the mini map. But here comes the penalty for Jaden. And we see Tamil and Hugo fighting over. Fifth place as well, really close together. Let's see that penalty first. Let's see if Jaden drops back behind Marnik and Kunis. Probably. Here it comes, that half second penalty. Marnik already passes him, and is it possible for Kunis to pass Jaden as well? Let's see that battle into this tight corner. Jaden now breaks himself a little bit, and Kunis can do the old switcheroo. Nicely done, perfectly executed. Nice job, and puts up a defensive line over there for Jaden not to make a re. Or an old, old, old switcheroo on him. Let's go a little bit further in front because I can see a battle forming up. Yes, over here, but between Caristas and Walters as well. But this is not tight enough to have a battle into the first corner, so let's go a little bit further back because the battle for fifth place is not done between Tamil and Hugo. Here they go. And the battle between <clears throat> Jane and Akunis is not done yet as well, but... They're a little bit far apart, and who has the best exit over there? Let's go a little bit further up front. Sorry for the skipping, but we'll have to see everything. How far are we in? Yes, this is going to be the last lap for Rick147 in the lead. Then we have Chris in second, Walters in third, Bonus in fourth. And we have Tamil fighting with uh, Hugo over fifth place. And who's going to break the lead? Is it the Nishi King? It's going to be Tamil still in fifth place. Sorry about that. Skip the wrong way. <clears throat> And here we're going to go, Monik and Kunis and Jaden. And Jaden tries that on the inside of Kunis. Here he comes. Oh, they're close together and next to each other right now. And Jaden makes the pass for eight place. Nicely done. There's a little bit of flashing over there from Kunis. And oh, here he comes on the inside. And oh, and he pushes Jaden wide. And there's a huge slide from Jaden. What happened over there? Holy shit, balls of fire. Let's see that again. Burns done replay. What the hell happened over here? Out of the first corner, on to the back straight. Let's call it the back straight. Here, the, here he's going to come right behind Kunis because of the penalty, of course. Monik is already gone. And he has the better exit over here. Tries it on the inside of Kunis. And do they touch? No, they do not touch over there. And Johnson or Jaden is even on the grass and makes the perfect pass. Let's get a ball with Kunis. And did he outbreak himself? Oh, and he pushes Jaden a little bit wide over there. That is a bit naughty. You naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> but let's go a little bit further up front because we still have the bite for battle for fifth place and uh, for second place. But I believe Chris is going to hold this. 
and Walters is going to hold third place then we have Bonus in fourth and we have to still that battle for fifth place between Hugo and Tamil who's going to end up fifth I believe Tamil is going to do that but let's get all the way up front because right now we're going to celebrate Rick Bonfort is having finishing first yet again and with the fastest lap that's going to be 16 points for him here he comes to the line <laughs> nicely done dude weaving all over the place hey victory for him first place second place for Chris is nicely done and third place for Walters coming home in fourth is bonus here comes Tamil in fifth nicely done as well Hugo in sixth then we have Marek in seventh that's going to be shitty for him for the championship our championship leader Kainis in eighth then Jiren coming home in ninth and then we have Pierre coming home in tenth and here we have Troy coming home in eleventh and <clears throat> only left racing is going to end up in 12th and Jopanex already finished because he waited on the line yep he's already over he's all the way over there there we go that's done and dusted that's the first race pew now normally I would show you the standings of let's firstly load up the second race already we saw the results of the last race. So we know the starting order already for the second race. Let's start that replay. Let's pass it as soon as possible. Let's skip a little bit further back. Are we going to put the race details on not yet? No, we're not. Because we're going to run you through the order anyway. But first of all, a short toilet break. A small intermission. Yes. Be right back. Uno momento, por favor. We are again back again. Yes. Okay. Let's have a little bit of a drink. A little bit of a drink. Don't blame it on me. Let's have a little bit of a drink. All righty then. Now, as I said, normally I would run you through the order, um, or run you through the order. I'll show you the championship standings, but because of this, those four scrape results, it's quite difficult to, well, quite difficult. It's hard to explain how it works. It's easy, actually, but um, it doesn't represent really well. And I'm going to show you the championship standings after these two races. Uh, we're going to see who ends up where. And, of course, because of these results, it's going to change a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to add you, uh, I'm going to add enough in info for you to understand it. But first of all, let's run you through the order of the second race. It's going to be oh, display all. Yes, please. We have Rick 147, of course, in the lead. In the lead, starting first because he finished first in the first race. 
And then we have Carissus in second. Then we have Walters in third. Then we have Bonus in fourth. Um, unfortunately for him, because he could have done better and could have ended up in second. That would have been amazing for his championship. Uh, Rickborn47 did the best he could, finishing first. Uh, so that's really good for his championship as well. And for Walters as well, by the way, finishing third. And Tamil, that's good for his championship as well, yet again. Um, because he uh, didn't compete in every single race so far yet. Uh, Hugo, sixth. Reasonable, good enough for him, but could have done better as well. Marnik had an absolute shitty race because he started first, of course, in this, uh, in the first race. Well, he starts in seventh. Then we have Jaded in eighth uh, because Kunis didn't compete in this one. Why, I do not know. Um, yeah, okay. So he starts in eighth. Then we have Pierre in ninth. Then we have Troy in tenth. Then we have Only Left Racing in eleven, And Jopodex in twelfth. All the way at the back. But we're going to follow it up. Let's see from the TV cam perspective. And we're going to start race number two. <clears throat> we know, of course, how this works. Let's prepare ourselves a little bit. I started a bit late today. So, yeah. Maybe that's why nobody's watching. And I didn't promote it. But who cares? We're going to do it anyway. The last two weeks we did it during Formula 1. <laughs> during Formula 1 qualifying. So yeah. Okay, <clears throat> if you're ready, I am ready too. Let's start this in <clears throat> a three, two, one, go! And let's see who has the best start compared to each other. We have Walter still in third, and Christus has a better start than Rickman 47. And is it possible for Christus to make it into the first corner? No, it's not. He slots in behind. He tries it on the inside, and he does. He makes the overtake. He's in the lead right now. We'll have to see that again. And Rickman 47 goes a little bit wide over there. And Walter passes him as well for second place. Rickman 47 all the way back in third right now. We have bonus in fourth. Holy shit, balls of fire. There's a lot of shit is going on. Hugo already passed Tamil. Tamil is all the way in sixth right now. And then we have Marek already trying for sixth place as well. Here they're going to go into the fast chicane. And it's going to be really important. Here they're fighting over third place, second place, first place. Everybody's fighting for everybody. Oh, and bonus goes out. No! He's in the wall over there. My mana goes wide as well. Oh, there's shit all over the fucking place. Holy fucking shite. And Janet is in the wall as well. What the hell? <laughs> we'll have to see that again. It's the replay! <clears throat> what the fuck happened over there? Sorry. Sorry for the language, but not sorry. Let's see that from the perspective of Carissa's first, because he had a better start compared to Rick 147. Here it comes in 3, 2, 1, go! Yeah, it's that tiny bit of better acceleration of the line. He's not going to try it on the inside, but eventually does. I believe Rick147 now breaks himself a little bit. Oh no, it's Walters who's pushing Caristus, and Caristus pushing Rick147, and that puts him into a drift. Let's see that again. It's a replay, it's a replay. Here he comes. That's a reasonable good start. Let's see from the perspective of Walters. Is that room? There is room. Let's get on board with the T-cam. Let's see. Yep. Oh, Rick 147 break early. That's why Chris has touched him and you have the concertina effect. So, because Rick 147 break earlier than Carissa's did, Carissa hits him in the rear, and uh, that's going to slow him down, and that's why Walter tapped him as well, and that's why Rick 147 has a huge drift into the first corner, and that's going to give Reint, or oh, bonus, and Tamil the opportunity to get on the inside, but Jugo as well, and they're all side by side right now, and everybody's pushing everybody, let's get on board with Tamil, let's still skip a little bit further back, because we saw Reint and Marnik, 
sorry, we saw a bonus going into the wall and Jaden. And Jaden is right behind here. Let's see what happens. Let's get it from the perspective of Ryan. He's on the inside of Rickman 47. Breaks the latest. And Walters just stares in and pretends bonus isn't there. Goes all the way into the wall. Oy, and that's bye bye swai swai for his race damage yes rear bumper damage let's go a little bit further back and see that again from the perspective of Hugo we're probably going to see it the best the best way from this angle yeah they're going to go side by side two by two into this corner and Hugo goes way too late into that corner as well and nearly slams out Rick 147 whoa that was Derry holy shit where did you break <laughs> that was a dairy move. Take a look at that. So there's any separate replay, any separate replay, any separate replay. Take a look at that. He, I believe he forgets the break. Holy shit. How did he save that? Whoa, that was a lucky save. But as we saw, let's go a little bit further back again. And any separate replay, any separate replay, any separate replay. Here we have it from the perspective of Pierre. Because Pierre ended up in. Seven, I believe. Because we have them going side by side as well. Tamil is on the outside of Hugo, as we can see, a little bit further up front. Tamil breaks a little bit too early. And Jaden tries it on the inside of Tamil and puts him in a spin. And nearly spins out Tamil as well. And Tamil has a huge drift. And Mane goes a little bit wide over there as well. And there's going to be another Constantino effect. And Troy slams into the back of Pierre. Holy fucking shit. Everybody's touching everybody. Let's see it from the perspective of Troy. Take a look at this. Here they're gonna go two. In sympathy, myself go over if I go as off as well. And everybody's touching everybody. Holy fuck! Okay, let's continue and well, let's see how bad this ends up. <clears throat> so we have Chris with a half second penalty, probably for cutting the chicane a little bit. Then we have Walters drifting wide as well into this hairpin. And then we have Rickman 47 already trying it on the outside of Walters over there. And already passed him for second place. And then we have Hugo in fourth. Tamil in fifth. Still in fifth. Nicely done though. And then we have Pierre in sixth. Oh, good for him. Troy in seventh. Then we have Marnik in eighth with a half second penalty. Then we have Only Love Racing in ninth with a half second penalty. And Joe Bedeckis is going to pass him for ninth place. So he's in tenth right now. And they have bonus in eleventh. And then we have Jaded all the way back in twelfth. Let's see it from all the way up front. And if there's going to be any other shenanigans, and they're going left, right, and center next to each other. Chris is in third right now. Walters we passed him again. How did that happen? Oh, no, he did not. Sorry. Let's continue. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. He had that half-second penalty, of course, Chris. That's why Walters uh, repassed him. I remember. I remember. And here is the tightest battle we have so far, and everybody's still really close together. Uh, duh, because it's after lap one. And who's going to pass who into the first corner? Is that possible for Tamil to pass Hugo into the first corner? No, it's not. And there uh, goes Troy on the inside of Pierre. No, he does not make the move stick. Let's go a little bit further up front between Hugo. And Corissus is really close behind Walters as well. The fight for second place is on. Here he comes. Who has the faster? Who is the fastest? On the straight, out of the slipstream, here it comes, Chris is on the outside, that's going to be the outside at least for this corner, the bus stop chicane, here it comes, no it's not possible to overtake, overtake over there, and Tamil is still in front of, Pierre and Troy and Monica are fighting over there as well, and Monica on the outside of Troy, is that possible, that is a dairy move, here it comes, and does, do they let each other live, yes they do, is it going to be a penalty for Monik, no it's not, and it's going to be the inside over here, and Monik passed him. Yes, there is a penalty for Monik. I want to see that again. It's the replay! Oh, the carnage of the first lap. I still cannot wrap my head around that. Holy shit. <laughs> so much happened over there. We see that little battle of little battle. That fight further up front between... Um, Coristus and Walters. And Troy has a huge slide. A huge Tokyo drift in the bus stop. That gave... Monik the opportunity to pass him on the outside but he cannot really complete it and he goes a little bit wide over there that gives him that half second penalty and he's on the inside for this corner that's a bit of a drift but as you can see a half second penalty as well and that's going to force him to slow down and Troy is going to repass him again let's go a little bit further up front because that battle for third place is on or second place is still on between Walters, Caristas, Hugo, Tamil, Pierre 
And there we have the half second penalty. And is Marnik going to keep a seventh place? No, he's not. Let's go a little bit further up front. The battle for second place is on. Oh, and they're fighting all over the place at the back between Monik and Jopodex. I saw. Oh, and Goddess goes a little bit wide over there. Is that going to give Hugo the opportunity to pass him into one of these corners? No, it's not. <clears throat> In the penultimate corner. Oh, and then it's another half second penalty for who? For Tamil. He probably went a little bit wide into the penultimate corner. Well, let's keep the speed in this race. Let's not, let's not pass unnecessary. And as you can see, there is a fight. You have that. Walters is gone for second place. Then we have Caristas fighting together with Hugo for third place. Then we have Tamil a little bit on his own. With Pierre behind him. And there is a fight behind that as well. <clears throat> let's see if this is going to make any changes. No, it's not. Are oh, they going to bump off each other? Here comes Hugo on the inside into the bus stop. No, he does not. He thinks better of it. And let's see that battle there side by side. Monik versus Troy. Oh, and there is a huge, and there is a huge collision over there between Monik and Troy. Oh, yo, 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 you guys. What happened? What happened? It's the replay. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What happened over there? Let's see it from Monik's, Monik, his perspective. Out of the first quarter. Only left racing and Jopodex right on his tail. Here he comes into the slipstream. Is Jopodex going to bump draft him? Yes, he is already bump drafting him. Bump drafting him. Into the fast chicane. Let's call it that way. Corner number two, three and four. And here he comes on the inside of Troy. And is yeah, Marnik going to stay in a little bit too early over here? Oh, he's going to hit the wall on the inside. And pushes Troy wide over there. Pushes Troy into a spin. There's going to be huge damage, front bumper damage and right front suspension damage for Marnik. Is there any damage for Troy? No, there is no damage for Troy. Well, luckily for him. But good sportsmanship for Marnik. He's going to wait for Troy. But oh my god, guys. Take a look at this. Here it comes. <laughs> That's a bit too much, Monik. <laughs> Let's see that. <laughs> yep. That's a bit too much. He's going to hit the wall. Yes, he does. Ay, 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 ay. Boop. Boop. Poof. And there you go. It's going to shovel him white. A little bit late. But slams right into Troy. And that's going to put Troy... In an absolute harsh spin. Marnik keeps it together, but is sportsmanship like waiting for Troy. But let's go all the way up front again. Because the battles are still not done. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Rick 47 with half second penalty. Oh no, that's gonna lose him the lead. That's gonna probably gonna lose him the lead. Or at least give Walters the opportunity to pass him for the lead. Here he comes, he's gonna serve that penalty. And Walters goes a little bit wide over there. And that's not really smart. Just behind the Rickman 47. Can he make that pass into... Oh, no, that's going to uh, give half a second penalty to Walters as well. No, you dumb wit. <laughs> You're in the lead right now. Why do you get a half second penalty? You're a bit too eager over there coming out of that corner to get as close as possible to Rickman 47. So Rickman 47 has, had, has the opportunity to repass him again in the next lap at the penalty line. But... It is Walters in the lead right now, so it's a change of the lead. Rick 47 in second, then we have Chris's right on that tail in third, then we have Hugo in fourth, Pierre in fifth, nicely done, and Tamil in sixth. Good race from Pierre, amazing stuff. Jobodex in seventh, then we have only left racing in eighth, bonus in ninth, Troy in tenth, Monik in eleventh, and Janet all the way at the back with half second penalty as well. Sure, why not? All the way back in twelfth. But Let's see this battle for first place. Four guys fighting for first place. And here they are, all in the slipstream, onto the back straight. And who's going to pass who? Here comes Coristus with the biggest slipstream. Three wide. Sure, why not? Into the bus of chicane. Who's going to break the latest? Is this going to end up well? No, it's not. Yes, Coristus in the lead. No, it's not. Rick 147 still on the inside with a huge drift over there. What the hell? How did that not end up in tears? Huge, huge fun. Blah, 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 blah. I cannot speak anymore. And Rickman 47 yet again with a half a second penalty. Both with half a second penalty. That's going to give Chris the lead. 
Definitely for sure. And Hugo with the huge drift behind it as well. Why? We know what that calls for. It's that replay. Oh, yo, yo, guys. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? <laughs> we have Walters already with half second penalty into the first corner. Then we have Rick 147. Let's see what he gets a penalty. Coming out of the first corner, definitely. I know for sure. He runs a little bit wide because he's on the outside of Walters over here. And goes a little bit too eager on the throttle. No, he's going to get that penalty in the, uh, coming into or going out of, out of the bus of chicane. I don't know, but they're all side by side over here. Take a look at this. Here they're going to come into the slipstream. All of Walters. Walters pulling the train, Rickman 47 forming a second train, and Curtis thinks better of things. Sure, why not? Three wide! Oh, yeah, yeah, you guys. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> this calls for a race photo. This is all for the lead. What the fuck is going on? Forgive for Bunda! What the fuck? <laughs> Amazing stuff. Amazing. This is absolutely ridiculous. For the lead. Remember that. It's for the lead. <laughs> Rickbone 47 just in the lead. And as I, as far as I can see, Walters just in second. And uh, Curtis is in fourth. Hugo in fourth. What the hell? Yep. Bat. So let's continue. Here yeah, they're going to come into the chicane and Hugo is going to bump draft uh, Rickman 47 into here. And Christus breaks the latest of all. And Rickman 47 is still on the outside, but it's going to be the inside over here for Rickman 47. And that's why he got that penalty. Because there was a little bit of a push of Christus and there is a push towards Christus from Rickman 47 because of that. And they're all in a drift. And just behind we have... Hugo seeing it all unfold over there. And have a second penalty for those two guys. And still side by side over here. And now they're going to form single line into this hairpin. Oh, yo, 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 you guys. And they're going to form up different lines as well. And they, that huge strip from Hugo again. Oh, yo, 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 yo. You're giving us a show. Amazing stuff. But this is going to put Curtis further into the lead because of the penalty of Rickman 47 and Walters in second and third. And Hugo is probably going to snatch third place at least. And maybe second place as well from Rickman 47. Here he comes. Is he going to try it on the outside over here? And Rickman 47, is he going to hold his ground? No, he does not. Is he going to push him a little bit white? No, it's all fair and square over there. And we have Rickman 47 def uh, defending uh, towards Walters. And that puts Hugo into second place. Goris is in. Oh, and Goris is with a half second penalty right now. Well, sure, why not? Penalty after penalty after penalty after penalty. So, Chris is in the lead right now with half a second penalty. Hugo is second, still didn't have a penalty. So that's why he is in second. Then we have Rickon 47 in third. Then we have uh, Walters in fourth. Then we have Pierre in fifth, closing up because of all the fighting and the penalties. And Tamil in sixth. Then we have Jobedek still in seventh, only left racing in eighth. And Bonus closing up to only one left racing for eighth place. Then we have Troy still in tenth. Barney closing up to Troy in eleventh. And Jaden still on his own at the rear. Oh, and here we have the battle for second place. Let's keep an eye on this. Oh, and Rickman 47 repassed Hugo for second place. It's that replay! Back, back, back and he back. Here he is, Rickman 47. Let's get a boat with him. Chase can few. Is it into the first quarter? Yes, it is. No, it is. Yes, it isn't. Does Hugo run a little bit wide? Oh, there's a bit of a push and a bit of a slide over there from Hugo. And that gave Rickman 47 the opportunity to pass him on the inside. And this is the shorter line, so that's why he is already in second right now. And Hugo back in third. And Walters yet again with a half a second penalty. Sure! Why not? <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> but Rick of Hugo right on the tail of Rickman 47 into the bus stop chicane yet again next to each other. And is there a possibility to pass him? No, it's not. But oh, Walters tries here from a long way back, but cannot pass him over here. And push him, pushing Hugo a little bit wide over there. He does not make the pass sick. And has that half second penalty, of course. And the leader as well, Christus. And they're going to come up to the penalty, penalty line sure, uh, shortly after this left hander. There is a right hander and then the penalty line. We have the leader with that half second penalty to Rickman 47 in second. Then we have Hugo in third. Walters in fourth with a half second penalty. And Tamil with a dive bomb inside of Pierre. And can he make that stick? He does. Oh, Christus is. No! Christus in the lead. 
Oh, he already had that half-second penalty. Into the wall. We'll have to see that again. Instant replay. So much going on. Goodness, what are you doing? No, dude. Probably front bumper damage. Yes, yes. He has that half-second penalty. Tries to pull out a bigger gap over Rick 147 to make sure he doesn't get past for the lead. Goes a little bit wide over here. Maybe a little bit too early on the throttle. Yes, puts it in a huge straight over there. And spins out. And bop! Hits the front bumper. Has to reverse. And can get back on the throttle. But drops all the way back to 7th. Back to 8th. Back to ninth, And has that half-second penalty as well. Is he going to drop back behind Marnik? No, he does not. All the way in ninth right now. Well, let's get all the way back to the lead. Because, uh, of course, we had Rickman 47. No, Hugo had that penalty. No, who had that penalty? I don't know. But let's go a little bit further back. Because we have an instant replay. And instant replay! So much happening over here. We have that pass, of course, from Tamil. Let's get a boat with Tamil. Chase Capfew. And we're going to see it all unfold. We see the leader. And we have Wolfus, of course, of course with a half-second penalty. Now we're going to see the leader, first of all. And now we're going to see that pass from Tamil as well, because uh, Pierre goes a little bit wide over there. And now we can see, on the right-hand side, Chris is in the wall. That's going to give Rick147 the lead back. Oh, back in the lead. Hugo, back in second. And Pierre is going to run a little bit wide over here, as we can see. If you look a little bit further back. And Walters had that penalty for in third place. And that's going to give Tamil third place. Holy shit, a lot of changes. And it's uh, going to give Pierre the opportunity. No, it doesn't give Pierre the opportunity to go up the fourth. But as I said, Rick 47 back in the lead. Then we have Hugo in second, Tamil in third, Walters in fourth, Pierre in fifth, Jobelex in sixth, only seventh. Hold left racing in seventh, bonus in eighth. And then we have Kurisis in ninth, all the way back in ninth, and Marnik still in tenth. Jaded in eleventh right now, and Troy all the way back in twelfth. Let's go all the way up front again. And here is the fight for third place between Tamil and Walters. The tightest battle we have right now, and Walters is a little bit angry, possibly because of the penalties and a little bit of mistakes. Here, there, and everywhere. I don't know. <coughs> and let's see if you can hold it together. It's only nine minutes in, guys. Nine minutes into this race. Ridiculous stuff. Ridiculous. Let's keep an eye on this one. That is a tight. This is a tight battle. Walters is absolutely in the slipstream. Tamil puts up a defensive line into the bus up chicane. Walters on the outside. It's going to be the inside. And is it possible? No, it's not possible to pass him over here. And is it possible on the inside over here? No, it's not. Any other changes behind? No, that are not. I believe everybody is still single file. And in the same order. And here comes Walters on the inside of Tamil. Is it possible? And Tamil goes a little bit wide. Walters is on the inside. But it's going to be the outside for the next corner. Is that possible for Walters? No, it's not. <coughs> is he going to do the old switcheroo? No, it's not. And that fighting puts Pierre and Jobodex into the fight for fourth or for third place as well. Pierre can sniff a podium. Is he going to dive on the inside of Walters? No, he does not. Oh, it goes a little bit slow over there. And the leader, Rick 47, pulling a little bit, a little bit of a gap over Hugo, and Hugo is pulling a bigger gap over Tamil. So the really tight battle is over here for third place. Jobodex with a big wiggy 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 bubble. Any other big battles forming up behind? Let's see. Not really. So let's go all the way up front for th to third place again. This is the closest we have. The tightest battle we have. Tamil, Walters and Pierre right in the slipstream from each other. And Jopodex had a better exit compared to Pierre. That's going to be a really tight battle as well. Here comes Jopodex, left, right, and center. Is he going to pass him or is he going to bump draft him? He's going to bump draft him. So the biggest battle is still for third place between Walters and Tamil. Oh, and who is the bravest into the bus stop? Be careful, you can get easily, you can easily get a penalty over there. Don't run too wide over here as well. <clears throat> oh, and there's a half second penalty for Hugo. A full second penalty for Hugo. That's going to drop him back all the way into the clutches of Tamil and Walters. And he's going to serve it immediately. So this is going to be tight for second place. Here they're going to come. 
and a half second penalty for Pierre as well. That's going to give Jopadex fifth place. Let's get a ball with Tamil. He's going to make that pass. Here is the Walters as well. He's back in fourth or third, I must say. Tamil is second and Hugo in fourth right now. Oh, yo, yo. So this is the battle for second place between these guys. And Jopadex pass Pierre. And Tamil puts up a defensive line and that puts Walters off. And Walters got passed by Hugo again. And it is going to be an old switcheroo. No, Hugo passed him. I'll have to see that again. There's a runway! Let's get a ball. I want to see that move. First of all, he's going to serve that full second penalty. He's going to pull out to the right with his Hugo boss. <laughs> and here comes Tamil. Here comes Walters. So he's in fifth right now. Well, let's see from his perspective what happens. And is Tamil going to put up a defensive line? Tamil puts up a defensive line over here and Walters tries to sneak on the inside. Oh, and he touches Tamil on the rear and that slowed him down and gave uh, Hugo the opportunity to dive on the inside of Walters. Nice, nicely done, Hugo. And that nose to tail, second to fourth. Amazing stuff. And Jopadix has, has still sight on second place. Walters with a better exit over there. But he cannot profit of that on this straight. Let's see who has the best exit out of the first corner. Hugo dives in deep. Right on the tail of Tamil. But goes a little bit wide over there. Has a big wiki 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 wobble. And Walters at the, the better exit over there. And already passed him for third place. And repasses him again. What the hell? It's a replay. Oh, sorry. I have to skip back. <laughs> We saw this better exit of Walters out of the uh, last quarter. <coughs> Hugo dives in deep but goes a little bit wide. And has a huge biggie wacka biggie bubble over there. Yes! And couldn't get on the tunnel as early as he wanted. And immediately in the slipstream, Walters behind Tamil. And had that better exit and regained third place from Hugo. And Walters is right in the slipstream of Tamil. So Tamil cannot escape this battle yet. So this battle will continue. Hugo right in the slipstream. And uh, Bonus is catching up with Pierre. Is there going to be a battle? And yes, Bonus passes Pierre for sixth place. But gets a half second penalty as well. And that's probably going to put him behind Pierre as well. Of Pierre again. But that battle for second place is still not over. And Rick 147 is yet again gone. It's bye bye, swipe, swipe. Unless he gets a lot of penalties. Or makes a mistake but mostly he doesn't and Pierre is gonna cut back just behind the Jopadex runs a little bit wide over there and we have that half second penalty for bonus so Pierre regains sixth place let's go a little bit further up front and let's keep an eye on the battle for second place my god that is too much to cover in this race <clears throat> my voice is I'm gonna lose my voice here he is Hugo in fourth place because both has regained that place <coughs> right in the slipstream all together There's still a huge strain and that is a half second penalty for Jopadex probably got it from running to white out of the penultimate corner aye 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 aye, aye. that's gonna drop him back there we have Hugo still in fourth, but right in the slipstream of Walters. And Walters is losing a little bit of touch to Tamil, but it's still in the slipstream so he can regain a little bit of time. And is Hugo going to bump draft him or going to attack him into the bus stop? We'll have to see and wait for that. Oh no, he's just going to close up. Nothing on the hand, and then there's a big wiggy wiggy wobble over there from Tamil, and then there's a big wiggy wiggy wobble from Walters over there. And Hugo can pass him because of that. But Walters is still on the inside of Hugo and it's going to be the outside for the next corner. Oh shit, is, gonna, is this going to end up well? It does, Hugo is still on the inside over here and there's a huge trip from Walters. Holy shit, balls of fire, that had a full one and a half second penalty from Jopadex. That's a waste of time because he could have fought for third place. We'll have to see this all again. It's the replay! Let's get him up with Walters. What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Let's see it from the perspective of Hugo. Hugo is of course in the slipstream, it's not going to bump draft him, wants to probably, but isn't close enough so he gets out of the throttle and as you can see right now, 
The car of Walters got a little bit unsettled and the car of Tamil, a little bit of uh, one further up front, got unsettled as well. Walters runs too wide over there. Luckily, doesn't get a penalty, but it gave the Hugo the opportunity to go uh, around the outside. But Walters is going to fight back over here. They're side by side towards this corner, but it's the inside, of course, for Hugo. And Walters has a huge Tokyo drift over here and cannot hold that third place. And is going to lose out. And Jopadex with a full second extra over his half second penalty he had already and it's gonna drop him all the way back to Pierre and to bonus uh, let's see that battle for second place or for third place I must say right now or first see that penalty yes it's gonna drop him all the way back to bonus and bonus past Pierre already and what happened to Pierre Pierre is gone no Pierre is backwards no what happened to you you're in an absolutely ridiculously good spot it's the replay Pierre no oh Pierre no don't do that again! Here he is in 6th place. Let's get a boat with him. Chase can few. Bonus right on his tail. We see that battle of course a little bit further up front. And Hugo in 3rd right now. Walters in 4th. And Jopadex with that huge penalty. And is he going to do exactly the same as Christus is? Yes he does. But a little bit less worse. But no a little bit worse. Front bumper damage. And he has to reverse. Oh yeah rear bumper damage as well. Meine Gute. Well, let's go a little bit further up front. We still have the battle, and as we see, Bonus did pass Jopadex because of one and a half second penalty. And the battle for third place, or for second place, I must say, is still on. We have Tamil in second, Hugo in third, Walters in fourth. Then we have Bonus, nice recovery in fifth. You see, he was backwards in 11th. And then we have Christus fighting Jopadex into the penultimate corner. Is that possible over there? Jopadex with his left indicator, indicator on. Why not? Let's confuse everybody. Where are you going to go? Yeah, and only left racing in 8th. Then we have uh, Monik in 9th right now. Jaded in 10th. And Pierre in 11th. And Troy all the way back in 11th. In 1st. Rick 47. All on his own. But let's keep an eye on the battle for 3rd place right now. Or 2nd place, I must say. I don't know which one is the closest. Bonus is a little bit on his own. As we can see right now. But who's the closest behind that? Is this a close battle? Yes, an absolutely close battle. Between Caristas, Jopadex and only left racing. Here comes Jopadex. Can he try it on the outside into the bus stop chicane? No, he does not. He thinks better of it. That's a smart decision. Still with his left indicator on. And let's go a little bit further in front to the battle for second place. Here we have it. Yes, Hugo is faster than Tamil. Oh, a little bit of a slide over there and a little bit of touching the grass from Tamil. Hugo goes a bit deep over there, but does the cut back into the corner a sniff of grass over there and we're already 17 minutes in that means only 3 minutes left and there is a fight behind there and Monik already passed whoa holy shit balls of fire what happened to Jopadex he's behind only left freezing and, Jop and Monik right now we'll have to see that it's gonna bump with him and we're gonna go again it's the back <laughs> oh, Jopadex made a mistake. He's behind Caristas, only left racing a Monik on his tail. Monik, one of the fast guys, of course, fighting for the championship. Oh, touches the grass over there. As I said before, still his left indicator on because he's going left right now. But even if he turns right, left indicator on, is he going to make a huge drift into this corner? That's a tricky one. Yes, he does. Oh, he barely can hold it. Touches the grass over there. That makes. Uh, that gives only left racing the opportunity and Monik as well because he has the better exit and that's why Jopadex is all the way back in ninth. let's go a little bit further up front let's see the battle for second place because it's, it's still on Tamil and Hugo fighting over second place Walters in fourth and Walters goes wide over there that's going to lose ground he's going to lose ground because of that so it's probably going to end up between Tamil and uh, Hugo for second place it's going to be amazing for Tamil this race of these two races and for uh, Rick 147 as well as long as there are no further mistakes this is gonna be it I believe after this one lap left mostly we did 12 laps let's hope stream laps is gonna hold up there's a bit of lag over there unfortunately but here comes Hugo onto the back straight 
Here it comes. He tries it on the inside, but Tamil blocks off. And side by side into the bust of Chicane. Who's going to break the lane? It's going to be Tamil. But Tamil still holds it on the outside. Nicely done. Perfectly executed. Gave each other perfectly room. That's how we like to see it in Race Team Walters. And we have to see that again. It is a replay. Let's get a ball. Back, 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 and back. Into these fast right and left hander. And another right hander. Corner number three, four, and five. Onto the back straight. Right in the slipstream. Tamil blocks off the inside. So Hugo goes to the outside. That's the outside over here. It's the inside over there. And Tamil blocks him off. Just enough space given. And that's how you get through the bus of chicane next to each other. But this is going to give Walters the opportunity to close up again and fight for second place as well. <clears throat> Let's keep an eye on this battle. Let's see if anybody, anything else changes. Whoa, and Hugo tries it on the inside yet again. Into the fast left happen and now into the tighter right happen. Tamil puts up a defensive line. And this is not going to be the last lap yet. Who's going to get second place in this race? Because as far as I believe, Rickman 47 is gone. And Tamil puts up a defensive line yet again. Hugo tries it on the outside. Is he going to try it on the outside? That's going to be a audacious move. He tries it on the outside. That is going to be the inside for the next corner. Here he comes. Beautifully executed. Nicely done. Into second place. Hugo. Oh, beautiful. We'll have to see that again. It's the replay. Let's get a ball with Hugo. This is perfectly executed. He puts it up perfectly because he puts Tamil into a defensive line over here. That's going to give him the better opportunity and the faster exit out of this corner. And with the slipstream, oh, perfectly out of that corner. And with the slipstream and yet again a defensive line of Tamil. He puts it on the outside over here. Breaks a little bit later, kept, keeps it on the outside. Throttles out a little bit earlier. Tamil gives him the space. That's fair racing. And this is going to be the inside for this corner. That's how you get second place. Well executed. Perfectly done, Hugo. So, Tamil back in third. And Walters right on the tail of these guys. Oh, they're so close together. Ridiculous. Let's look a little bit further back. Nothing else going on. Nothing on the hands. Yes, let's go a little bit further in front again. Sorry for the skipping. Well, I ha but I had to see that. Oh, there was a poor exit out of the last quarter for Tamil. There's a bit of a gap to Hugo. This is going to be the last lap because there is only half a minute left in this race. And we're not going to circle around a yet another time. Because it's exactly 20 minutes and then the finish line is the finish line. Is there anybody going to finish already? Maybe it's going to be the last one in the race. No, it's not. But here comes Walters on Tamil. And Tamil puts up yet again a defensive line. Walters on the outside. Is it possible to pass him on the outside? No, it's not. Oh, and Walters slots in behind. A little bit of a drift over there from Tamil and Walters. Let's see if there aren't any penalties. No, there is not. But the fight is not done yet. Walters tries everything, pushes the track limits over there and gets a half second penalty. As I thought, he pushed the track limits. No, ho, ho, ho. And that's bye bye, swipe, swipe, third place. And maybe he's going to give Wright the opportunity or bonus uh, the opportunity to pass him for fourth place. Let's keep an eye on that battle. So let's keep it on Wright right now. Let's get on board with Wright. Is he going to make that pass over Walters? Does he or does he not? Is he going to choose the outside? That's the racing line. And is he going to try the old switcheroo? Walters goes a little bit wide over there. Good runs too wide again. That's going to be a half second penalty yet again. Definitely. Must be. He kept in the throttle. Let's see. Walters. Yes. Another half second penalty. No. You do not. Why do you do those things? That's going to be bad for his championship and good for the championship for a bonus. He was in 11th at this race. Recovered all the way to 4th. But, oh, I forgot, all this time, Rickman 47, yet again, we had another victory. Here comes Hugo in second. And uh, Tamil with a uh, third place run. That's going to be fifth place for... Oh, this goes a little bit too fast. Let's skip a little bit further back. Because of that half-second penalty... Oh, that's too far back. Sorry about that. With that half-second penalty, that's going to drop him back a full second. So that's going to be fifth for Walters, and it's going to be fourth for bonus. As you can see right now. And that's going to be six for Caristas. Seventh for oh even yeah six for Caristas seventh is going to be Monic 
8th is going to be only Love Racing and Jopenex 9th and Jaden comes home in 10th Pierre in 11th and Troy all the way back in 12th what a race again but I have to see this yet again from Walters what he did let's see that all the way back 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 in the back in the back first day is it ready? to make sure we see what he did because right now he was fighting of course Tamil on this street yes let's see that full lap back in the slipstream Tamil as well but Tamil is going to pull out of the slipstream of Hugo to put up a defensive line and Walters is on the outside they're giving each other enough space Tamil breaks the latest whoa Tamil was quite close on the edge over there and this is probably the half second penalty for Walters because he ran a little bit wider than Tamil did or is it going to end up over here ah this is the penalty you cannot run to white over this wide curb on the exit over here why it ends the track limit is the curb but ah oh shit I skipped a little bit too far back but as you can see above the oh we can use the mouse over here this big curb over here is your track limit but it ends over here and as soon as you pass it and you're off with three wheels you're, you're gonna get a half second penalty yep so let's get back to stream laps and as you can see right now cling that is your half second penalty and right now he's cursing in the cockpit his own cockpit at home of course and this is going to give Reint the opportunity to close up but as we're going to see it from the perspective of Reint or from bonus he's going to get another half second penalty after this why? Walters is going to put up a defensive line over here Reint fakes it uh, or fakes it or not really fakes it but pushes Walters all the way to the edge of the circuit he's going to cut back over here breaks in a little bit too deep runs a little bit wide goes too early on the throttle and is yet again with all four wheels out of the track of outside of the track not on the curb anymore and gets another half second penalty even pushes bonus a little bit by coming back onto the track and bonus goes a little bit wide because of that but with that half second penalty and because you cannot serve it anymore in the last lap you'll have to serve that at the end of the uh, at the end of the race and it's going to double down at the end of the race so that's a full second for Walters and that's going to drop him back to 5th place and bonus into 4th place again what a recovery of Reint and as I said the rest of the results are clear here we saw it Jaden with another shitty race all the way in 10th and there you go those were the two races guys what are two races again <laughs> especially the second race meine Gute what the hell what a show ridiculous let's put that game volume down and let's get you into the championship standings we'll have to see how that stands right now did we use that one we used that one already is this the full championship standings no no it's not sure oh did he close that one no it did not did he this ah we have too much open okay well this was before of course and right now yes here we have it the full championship standings right now and as you can see we're gonna skip to that file because of the um, zeros over here of Rick 147 at the beginning of the season why uh, it's yellow over there because he his first two races were in group B he only got 70% of the scores uh, of the score he got over there because you compete in a lower category we implemented uh, that rule for this season because it's unfair if you win in a, in a lower group because normally it would be a bit easier if you would compare in group a so that's why he only got 70 percent but as you can see the two races he did 
over here and the two races he did over here, the purple ones, he got the win and the fastest lap. And the one he didn't compete is, of course, zero. The last two still has, have to be done yet. And here he was second. Oh, no, I must say third. And here he was... No, he, here he was first, but didn't get the fastest lap. And here he was second. So every single time he competed in Group A, he was first or second. And most of the time got the fastest lap as well. So that puts him in the lead right now. Because his four scrape results are only zeros. But he can only improve with these two. But if he can win another two races... And get 15 or 16 points if he gets the fastest lap as well. He's going to be definitely the champion. And well deserved. Because as you can see by his results. It's ridiculous. And Hugo is really consistent as well. He's in second right now. As you can see right here. The full points of Rick 147 with the four scrape results. Is exactly 110. Because there's still four times a zero. But the full points of Hugo are 119. But with the four least results, which are still two races to come, and his least results, the 7 and the 9 points over here, gives him a 103 score. So that puts him in second right now. And as we can see, Marnik, with the two shitty races he had and the two 9 points over here, uh, those are his worst results and his first race as well. Is going to put him in third place right now. So from the championship lead all the way back in third. And with a 12 and a half points behind Rick 147. That's going to be a tough one to overcome. He, have, he has to win the last two races with the fastest lap as well. And hope for Rick 147 to do absolutely shitty or do not compete. Because then it's possible to overtake him. Uh, but he dropped all the way back to third. And because uh, Otto didn't compete in these two races. But did compete in all the other races. His complete total of 97 point is his total. With the four scrape results. So the first least results so far. And with the last two races counted. Is still 97. And then he's in fourth place. So it dropped all the way back to fourth. And then we have Walters with 97 points as well. But... Um, I believe he should be above um, Otto. He should, actually, because he got a win and a fastest lap. So, actually, he should be in fourth. His total is 115 because he competed in every single race. But with his first uh, four worst results scraped, he's in 90 with, uh, uh, he has 97 points. And as I said, bonus with his two uh, last races, 12 points each. And the races before that, 14 and 15, put him all the way up to 6th. So we passed Jaden, he passed uh, Chris um, VS28, he passed Sonches, he passed a lot of guys. And he's um, nicely in 6th place with 86 points in total. And 86 points in total it means. So we can still improve of that. And he still can improve his worst results, with it, which is a double zero so far. He can still improve that. So he can still improve in the championship as well. Maybe even get up to 4th place or 5th place. If he does really well in the next two races. And then we have Jaden. We can see progressively it is okay in the first four races. Then a bit of a shitty race. Then a really good race. Then a shitty race. Then a good race. And two shitty races again. So it is possible for Jaden to progress a little bit as well. 98 points in total. But with the uh, four worst results scraped. It's 84 right now. And then we have Tamil. Also miss, uh, missed already two races over here. Uh, that means he can do uh, better with the... Uh, scrape results as well so we can up that uh, his total of 76 is 76 in total because he didn't compete uh, once so for Rick 147 uh, bonus and Tamil there is still opportunity to gain a couple of places because they missed out one of the races everybody else has to do better than uh, earlier results and then we have Christus of course did extremely well in the first race but didn't do that well in the second race. How did he end up with 10 points? Where did he end up? I'll have to see that again. Did he end up pretty well in this one? Yeah, he ended up eventually pretty well in 6th. 
Well, that's reason. Uh, that's a reasonable recovery because he dropped all the way back to ninth, I believe, in the race. So that's really good. With as you can see, he progressively got better and better this season. Two points, three points, six points, eight points. Then a shitty result again of three points, but then seven points, six points, ten points, fourteen points, ten points. That is amazing. And his total of sixty-nine with this worst result scraped gives him a sixty-four points uh, in total. And then we have. Chris Fias, 28, who mostly competed in Group A and only once competed in Group... Of mostly competed in Group B and only once competed in Group A. But as you can see, that's only going to give you 70% of the points you would normally get in Group A where you finish and didn't compete the last race and is 10th right now with 16 and a half, 61 and a half points and his total is 61 and a half as well. So could up as well. And as you can see, the list goes on and on and on. And we had 21 competitors, competitors so far in this championship. And we can see the list. But my God, guys, tune in next Wednesday for the last two races of this season to see who's going to be our champion. I think it's going to be Rick 147. But if he cannot make it, it's going to be tight because Hugo is only seven and a half points behind him. Monik is only 12 and a half points behind him. And uh, Ono and Walters are only 13 and a half points behind him. So everything is still possible. If he has two shitty races or at least one shitty race, it is still possible for another one to snatch the championship. So it's going to be between those five competitors, as far as I can see. Because everybody else behind it had too many shit results to <laughs> overcome that point deficit yeah let's wrap this up let's show myself again let's get over here let's get to the conclusion two amazing reasons thank you for tuning in or thanks for watching and catch you next time